Rock and roll, we're dead. This one's called Control. Because you know it only takes a minute. Yeah, I start up fine, but then a minute. And then the fever in my head starts to take its hold. Need you here the more. I'm out of control. I'm out of control I'm out of control I'm out of control Too much, my heart ain't strong. Yeah, up on me, I can't keep up. My heart ain't strong enough.
Is the most recent album always the best album? Yes. <laughs> no, the next one is. The next one. That's the good. That's the ah, correct good answer. answer, I think. Yeah. But is it is it is, is something? I, I f it feels like this album is something that that it culminates in this album. Is that is that? Could you could you elaborate on that? Is that is that the way you look at it? That 
I think like, like throughout like the whole... Like five years of hard work culminates in this album? Yeah. I mean, we've been learning like the whole time we've been in a band. And so like, I think, I don't know if this is the end culmination, but I feel like kind of what she's saying is as well, like it just keep, we just keep learning more and getting better at what we do, I guess. So hopefully that's the case. Yeah. Like every album is a culmination of the albums that preceded it or the life lived b- <laughs> before it. Um, yeah, we don't really look at it. We're more of like the process than the um, end product kind of band. So you're more, yeah, the process is very interesting, I think. So, so you keep on recording. It's not like you yeah. have an idea of this is going to be the album mm-hmm. the, yeah. the th- thematically. Like for this last one, we we recorded probably like 22 songs or something like that. And then we just shape it into something that makes sense. And like what made sense was Blue Skies, basically. Because um, I think like when we listen to the records, all of them, it's like a bit of like a journey through it, I guess, in in a way. And so this like journey made sense and like all the, the path, puzzle pieces of the path maybe were there. So. so if it is a process, then how does a, how does a title come about? Because it's it's blue skies and it's kind of, it could could have been everything if you've had so many songs ready. Yeah. Uh, this one came from me. Uh, I was it, it was the pandemic and it was Chicago and it was gray and it was winter and it was long. Oh, yeah. And then that first day, every Chicagoan knows that feeling when the summer is dawning. Everyone goes outside. They're happy. So the first day of blue skies is like <gasps> okay. The darkness is over, like, there's hope again. Because you forget. (laughs) Yeah. Let the light come in. The lights, yeah. So I was in my bed, and I looked out the window, and it wasn't gray anymore. It was a blue sky, and I was like, that's the feeling. That's the feeling for the album, Mm -hmm. like, coming out of the cave. Coming out of the cave. uh, You come from, uh, originally, you're from the south, huh? From from I'm from Atlanta, Atlanta. yeah. But I've been in Chicago for eight years. But what brought, what, what, what made you come to Chicago? Studying or? It was random. Random. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Random. And and you're a Chicagoan? Mm -hmm. Okay. You were born and raised there. How could, Mm -hmm. how could you describe the the scene that you guys are embedded in? Well, I think. Is there a scene? Yeah, it is. It it has changed from where we were born, I guess. Like we were born in very much like the DIY thing. And that's how Mm -hmm. like, I guess that's how I would say you probably kind of moved here is because we all met like, um while her band was on tour and we were all playing DIY shows like with our various projects and stuff. And so do you, was, do you record in an actual studio also, or are you recording more or less at home? We record in studios now, studio. but it also like, it's still like, uh, over the years I've been building up like a home studio. So then also, uh, a lot of overdubs and stuff are done at just like at my house, wherever that might be at the time. And touring, you, you, you're, you're, Quite extensively, touring is going on oh, right yeah. now. Oh <laughs> yeah, we're we're deep in the Are weeds. You, no, no road fatigue. Uh, <laughs> I've, depending I've, on who you ask. Yeah, Jason's always fine. It seems. Yeah, you're good. And, and you, I'm, I I uh, you had your moments. I'm tired, but I, I just need breaks. I love being on stage more than anything, and um, I'm looking forward to the breaks between. Well, this is very special about you, I think, because of the. The instrument is the bass, but your voice is like an instrument as well. Huh? It's, yeah. It's, it's, it it's very... It's exhausting. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be careful. I'm uh, like an athlete. What, yeah, you are, are you? <laughs> you guys are. But uh, is, is, is touring good for the inspiration? Does it bring something... For me, I've been having a lot of ideas on this one, like like uh, having like mindless time in the car where you're just staring out the window, like little melodies like come to my head all the time. And then I'm like freaking out our tour manager because I'm like singing into my phone really quietly. I'm like, bam, 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 yeah, bam, bam, bam. and then he's like, what are you doing over there? <laughs> but those are, are mainly, uh, I would say, uh, melodic ideas. Yeah. Not, not lyrical. Uh, words sometimes too, but. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, we, we're always sort of writing. Uh, Jason does do the me- voice memo uh, melodies all the time. And uh, I'm always writing lyrics into my phone just when I think of things. But I think every time is, inspirational not just tour like you but i do i am excited because we're writing in february so we're gonna have like two months of off tour so we can have two months of real life to put in the fodder for the writing so i'm looking forward to that and if you're saying get back to the real life what would the real life be Uh, are you writing again are you just working on new material or do you have a so to say job uh, aside i guess just like home life home life it's all real life but 
tour life and home life and home life is just more stationary and more like like in my community and I have my you know my best friends and my boyfriend and my dogs and <laughs> um and visual work yeah you're you're a visual I do artist. tattoos and yeah. I draw yeah. and uh I'm just a little bit more healthy when I'm at home so I don't know <laughs> yeah. it's Eric for instance he's not he's kind kind of camera shy I heard and uh, what, what yes. does he bring into the process of of, of recording or what? um well obviously he's the drummer yeah but um He's really kind of like uh, the kind of like grounding force and the sage, the quiet sage, the quiet sage. And he, yeah, he he really uh, only will really like put his foot down when he really feels strongly about something. So as far as like creative decisions or something like that, like if he says something, then you're like, oh, this is like this is the way to go because he won't just like randomly throw out ideas just to talk, you know. So we listen to his 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 wisdom, I guess. He will usually, uh, he's started bringing one song that he writes with his own vocals and words to the band. Uh, the last two records, we've gotten one song, so I'm excited to see if he brings us a song for the next record. Right. So he'll do the drums and stuff, and then occasionally he'll pop up and be like, I wrote this song, and we're like, oh, let us hear it. <laughs> but the trio is always very intense, I would say. Eh? Trios in, in, in musical history are very intense form of format i would say mm. would you agree with that well, i think it's easy because uh our band is very much a democracy so it is. there's always an odd number of for votes because <laughs> otherwise it's otherwise i don't think we get anything done <laughs> yes is that the way it works i thought democracy is, yeah. is not very good for a for a band but yeah we we just uh well we respect each other so maybe we're just democracy only works if there's mutual respect and um It's just the law. <laughs> it's like if one of us doesn't like it, but two does, then it's like, all right, so be it. And we allow it to go there. But I think three is a really good number. Our influence is, a, I don't think we have like a collective one as a band. It's, it is all kind of like what happens when the three individual personal influences kind of come together. Well, it might be like 60s, surfy, soul, Sorry. yeah, like girl group, spirit. Uh, I think we do have a very pared down sound that's from an older time, but uh, Jason hates surf. Oh, you do? The word surf, <laughs> but his guitar is very jangly oh. and like dancey. And I think people only know to say that word to, to like relate to it. And then, um, you know, people will relate my voice to like 80s. Yeah singers which i also hate so it's like interesting <laughs> like we don't see ourselves in the view the eyes of what other people see but i think it's very like wholesome uh like 50s 60s energy yeah. rock is where i think are like if, if i had to say what the spirit of the band was the whole of of, of the band is more than the individual parts would you say that would mm -hmm. you agree with that so you bring in something and it adds up to dead yeah i think it's just the creative spirit i guess yeah Okay. Well, well, thank you. Well, good luck on the tour and thank you. hope to see you again. Thanks Soon. very much. <laughs>